lot of people think that you can't discriminate with pulse induction detectors. And that's not really true, at least not with the TDI. So today I'm going to show you a way you can set the TDI up to ignore nails and still find low conductors in really bad dirt. So this is my personal TDI. Uh, it's a special edition. I do have a uh, Minor John folded mono coil. You can see it's still got dust on it from Nevada. And what I'm going to do is turn the gain up to about 7. Get my threshold to where you guys can hear it. Frequency right in the middle. I'm going to set the pulse delay up around between 13 and 14, and that's really crucial because that will help get rid of a little bit more of the smaller iron and also eliminate some of the flare that comes off the head of the nails. Now the crucial control for this trick is the ground balance. Now what I'm going to do is I got my nails here. They're kind of arrayed in like just a mess. Like this would be impossible to hunt even with the VLF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to just ignore the nails. So right now I'm in all conductivity. You can hear you get that very distinct nail honk. That's just horrible. So if I set the switch to low, target conductivity switch to low, go over the nails, I get no response. Maybe a tiny bit of flare off that nail. If I lower the ground balance point, you can hear the nails go off. So I'm just going to advance it until they're gone. And now I'm going to take my Jefferson Nickel. And I get a really clean signal. It'll be the same with a gold ring or a gold nugget, as long as it's big enough to be picked up by a PI. But it's very clear that you got to dig that target. Again, I'll take the nickel out. No response from the nails at all. So that's it. If you're looking for gold, or uh, other low conductors in heavy iron, the ground is really bad, give the TDI a shot.